My friends, today is going to be a wood cutting day. But before I get to that, I want to tell you about the status of the Washburn Parlor guitar because I did make a little bit of progress and make a couple more discoveries. I want to tell you about the lesson I had with the young man that I was telling you about with the timing issues. And I'll tell you about the uh, progress I've made in, on the song challenge. I'll tell you about all of that right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Thursday, January 19th. January's gone past center, that's for sure. <laughs> Boy, it seems like these months go by in a hurry now. The only good thing about that for me is uh, that just means less firewood the further we get through the winter. <laughs> But I will be cutting firewood uh, later today and probably won't get a lot done here in the shop today, unfortunately. But by the fact that it's Thursday, that means tomorrow we'll have our shop talk at 8 o'clock in the morning, my time. And uh, if you'd like to post in today's video, post your questions and or comments or subject matter that you'd like to discuss tomorrow, be feel free to put that in today's comment section and I will check it out and try to make sure we cover those things tomorrow. I mentioned I made some progress on this parlor guitar, this Washburn. First of all, uh, the owner bought a book on these and found out that this, I, I don't know the exact year of this, but he found out that this is, you know, in the mid 1880s roughly, uh, give or take a few years. It's, I'm going to say it's an 1885-ish. Part of the identifying thing is these uh, friction tuning keys. The discovery I made on this is I looked inside and I'm going to, you know, in the full video, you'll probably get to see an internal video where I'll take the, the little uh, snake camera and go inside there and show you. But what I thought was odd is that the, the uh, bridge plate on the inside is in a location like that. You see where the holes are showing? That's where the bridge pl plate is located on the inside. Now what I thought might have happened is the bridge plate might have broke off. Maybe there was bridge plate in front there. I haven't really determined if that's the case yet or not. It looks like it was made this size and put in that location to me because uh, the bridge plate itself is beveled on all four edges. So it doesn't look like it broke. But I've got to do more investigation on that. The problem with that bridge plate being in a place like that is that it allows the strings to pull up on the raw top because those string buttons are pulling right up on this spruce and that's not a good thing. In fact, that's probably what broke out some of this here because of that. So. Anyway, I'm going to have to address that, I think. I don't think I can just leave it like that. Not in good conscience, anyway. So it looks like I've got my work cut out for me on this puppy. I've definitely determined I'm going to need a neck reset on this as well. And I did make progress in the fact that I made start the starting of a bridge. This bridge, I, I looked online at, at uh, the information the customer sent me, and this appears to be a very similar bridge to what was on this thing originally. Of course, it would go right there. And, you know, I'll have to drill the holes and all that stuff. I'm not going to do too much more on this until I decide what I'm going to do on the bridge plate. Regarding the lesson that I had with the young man yesterday, it went a little better than I would have expected. Uh, he is incredibly strong-willed. <laughs> In other words, he'll let you know what he thinks about pretty much everything, pretty quickly, too. He is presently 9, but he will soon be uh, 10. So, to me, I've said before, and I've said even on this channel, that 10 years old is the magical age. If you can catch a person when they're 10 years old, it's the magic age for learning music. It really is, and, you know, everybody, I'm sure, has their own opinion, but... Here's my basis for that opinion. The coordination and the brain have caught up with each other at age 10. In other words, you know, at say age seven or eight, 
their hand coordination and their brain processing and all that just doesn't work as well as it does when they reach age 10. I've come to that conclusion because I've taught a lot of kids how to play music and at age 10 it just seems like it clicks and they take off. So I'm really anxious to work with him and hopefully he'll turn out to be quite a musician. Now in regard to the song challenge, <laughs> I really had a lot of chuckles reading your lines and different things yesterday. Unexpectedly, the very first one I read is probably the one I'm going with. I like the theme and the idea behind it, and I'm kind of trying to write a song around that. So all the rest of them were just decoration and, and fun for me to read them. And uh, you know, some folks even went so far as to write the whole song and even one wrote it twice, wrote two different versions of a song. And I liked it, it was very good. I, I enjoy all of that. It's, uh, I had a good time with the whole thing. Now I only read the comments up to about five or six o'clock uh, yesterday evening. So after that, if you post it, I probably haven't read it yet. I thought it was very good and I, and I appreciate your help on that. And I did get ideas, I think, uh, for possible future songs as well. So uh, I've got those in the back of my mind and we'll just see how that all turns out down the road. But as of right now, I'd say it's about a 70% chance we'll have a song tomorrow to share with you. But, uh, you know, there's still 30% chance I may not get there. <laughs> so just, just understand that we may or may not have a song ready for tomorrow. That's going to be about it for today. I got to get busy and uh, get this video out to you. And I have to uh, then go out and get a bunch of firewood cut up. May not haul it all in today, but I've got to get a bunch cut. We will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for Shop Talk. Be there or be square as they say. We'll see you then. Yeah.